If this is your first time trying to install a custom ROM on your device, this is the right video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you all the steps you should take to successfully install a custom ROM on any Android device. Hello everyone, my name is Wilson and welcome to this channel. In this channel, I want to share with you tips and tricks from the world of technology so you can make the best use of it, as well as share a little bit of the things I like to do the most, which is customization. I'm going to show you all the steps I take to successfully customize my smartphone and my Windows PC. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notification every time I upload a new video. As you probably have seen from the title of this video, I'm going to show you all the steps you should take to properly install a custom ROM on your Android device. To install a custom ROM, you have in summary three steps. Select, download the custom ROM select download and install the custom recovery and install the custom rom based on these steps i'm going to divide this video in two parts part one will be selecting and downloading the custom rom part two will be about selecting downloading and install custom recovery and installing the custom rom without further ado let's start with part one for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Samsung Galaxy Note 4, but you can follow this step for the majority of Android devices. Once you have decided that you want to install a custom ROM, these are the things you should check on your device. Device brand, device model, Android version, device type, and product variation. The last two ones are very important and you cannot identify it without a 3 part application. If anyone knows how to identify it, Without a 3 part application, leave it at in the comment section because I really would like to know. So the applications that I use to identify it are IDA64 and Phone Check. I will leave in the description of this video all the links for the application and the files that I'm going to be using throughout the video. I use these two applications in combination because IDA64 provide me some additional information that Phone Check don't give me. I know that there are a lot of other applications that can, you can use to provide this information, but I've been using these for quite some time and I mean, I like them. Once you have downloaded the application, open it and find the information I said you should check. In my case, I have device brand, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 LTE, device model, SMN910C, Android version, I have Android 6.0.1, device system, I have TRELTE, and product version, I have TRELTEXX. To follow with this tutorial, I want to install on my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 Lineage 16.1, which is based on Android 9. Once you have identified the custom ROM you want to install, Check all the requirements and see if your device fits in. One thing you should always pay attention is the device type and the product version. I've noticed sometimes that a custom ROM specific for a device brand and device model may work on other device from the same device brand even if the device model is different. But if the device type and the product version are different, most of the time it will not install. To give an example on how I select a custom ROM to install on my device, I'm going to use this website that I use very often to download my custom ROMs. The example that I'm going to use is a bit complex, but I think it's packed with a lot of information that you can use while searching for your custom ROM. When you come to these websites, it's always good to read information about the custom ROM that you're going to download. I'm going to skip this and look for the download link. Now here at the download link, you have some information about the device able to install this custom ROM. As you can see here, you have the device model and the device type. You don't have the product version. So we are going to work based on these two information. I want to point out something here which is common. When you come to these websites, most of the time you will not find all the information that I've pointed before. Most of the time you will find the device model with the device type or the product version. So it is always good to do a research about the available device models for your smartphone before you go and trying to find a custom ROM for it. 
In this case, I cannot find my device model, but I can see that this one, SMN910F, is similar to my device model. So between these three options, I'm going to choose this. But this is not enough information to download it. Here at the end, you can see that the device type is different from mine, but I'm going to select this one to download. Here is why. The device model is different, but as I said before, even though the device model is different, sometimes it works. So here I'm going to give the benefit of a doubt. The device type is different as well. The TRLTE is for locked carriers. My device is international unlocked variant. I noticed here they have SMN910F model, which is an international variant as well. So since these two models are similar, I think this one will work on my device. So even though the device model and the device type are different, I'm still going to download this custom ROM because they share some similarities. Both are international and unlocked variants. These are the steps I take and how I think before I select a custom ROM to download and install on my device. Once you have downloaded the custom ROM, click on it and copy it to your micro SD card and insert it onto your phone. In the next video, which I will leave the link in the description of this video, or you can click in the card that will appear at the top, I'll show you all the steps you should take to select, download and install custom recover, and finally install the custom ROM that we have downloaded in this video. Well guys, that's all for this video. If this tutorial was helpful to you, share, give a like and subscribe to the channel. By just doing this, you will be helping the channel to grow and will make me very happy. I'll see you in the next video.